Hey guys, today on Low Carb with Jennifer, I'm gonna show you how to make this buffalo cauliflower. It is so perfectly seasoned. The cauliflower is perfectly cooked. So good. Mm. Let's make it right now. Okay, let's get started with this air fryer buffalo cauliflower. I've got a whole head of cauliflower um, that we're gonna chop up into small florets. So the best way that I like to do that is I just start chopping it. I don't get all, you know, making the florets all pretty. I just get them all chopped up and then I cut the core out. I cut around the core. Then we can just get rid of that. But I just, you know, that's the way I like to do it. And then you've got really small pieces of cauliflower and you get all of the seasonings all in it. So like these big chunks here, I'm gonna to continue to chop those just so they're smaller, smaller pieces of cauliflower. And you know, you could make it pretty florets if you wanna like eat this um, buffalo cauliflower with your fingers, you know, kind of like an appetizer, but, or you can do it this way and eat it like it's your, your side dish. Okay, we got that all chopped up. Let me get it thrown into this bowl. Okay, we've got our cauliflower all chopped in the bowl, and now I'm gonna season it really, really well with two tablespoons of avocado oil, one and a half teaspoons of smoked paprika, one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, three quarters of a teaspoon of oregano, and three quarters of a teaspoon of onion powder. So we're gonna toss the cauliflower and the oil and the seasonings all together. And that oil is gonna help all of the seasonings stick to the cauliflower. Really give it a good toss. So now we're ready to put this in our air fryer. I'm using this Cuisinart air fryer oven. Air fryer, toaster, broil, convection oven, all that good stuff. So I, we've already prepared this pan. We've lined the, the drip pan with foil just so it doesn't get all yucky. And then we put our basket in and we sprayed it with cooking spray. So now I'm just gonna dump this cauliflower into the, the tray. Spread it out, make a mess. So I know I said this is buffalo cauliflower, but I don't wanna put the buffalo sauce on it yet. I like to put it on after we've cooked the cauliflower. So this is ready to cook. I'm gonna slide it in here. So I'm gonna cook this at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. You're gonna to wanna to keep an eye on it, toss it to so it'll cook evenly, probably about every five minutes or so. And then when we're done, we're gonna to toss it in the buffalo sauce. So stay tuned for that. Okay, our cauliflower is ready. And it looks so perfect. So I've got half a cup of buffalo sauce here, Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Sauce. I'm going to scoop the cauliflower out and drop it into my buffalo sauce. So we've got nice, crispy, brown cauliflower. I just think if you cook it with the buffalo sauce, it's gonna be soggy. All right, so now let's just toss this with the buffalo sauce and the hot cauliflower. Warm up that sauce. Mm. This is looking so good. This is such a good side dish. You could top it with some blue cheese. Look at that. The 
perfect amount of buffalo sauce. Okay, let's give a taste. Mm, nice crispy piece. Mm. Oh, that's good. So good. Very, very well seasoned. Cauliflower is perfectly cooked. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye.